This video will show you how to create a file connection. File connectors provide connectivity between Informatica cloud application integration and file systems so you can monitor the file systems for new files, read from and write content to files and select options to handle processed files and pass JSON and XML files and convert them to process objects. This is the Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services login screen. Enter your credentials and click Login. And select Application Integration Service from the list of available services. For this demonstration, we have created a project named Tutorials and a folder named File Connection. Click New and Connections and click Create. A new connection page opens for editing. This page has two tabs, Properties and Metadata. The Properties tab defines the properties for the connection. Name specifies the name of the connection. Note that the name should start with a letter and can contain only letters, numbers or hyphens. Description is a brief description of the file connection. This is an optional field. Type specifies the type of connection. Select file from the list. Notice that the additional tabs like Event Sources and Event Targets tab appear along with Properties and Metadata. Run On specifies the secure agent to which you want the file connection to point to. Click Save to save the connection. Click Test to Test the connection. The connection test result says, Passed. The Event Sources tab is used for multiple file events like monitor folders for any new file, parse a file as a delimited file or a fixed width file. Click Add Event Source. In the Add Event Sources drop down list, you can view four different event sources, namely, File Monitor, File Parser, Delimited Content Parser, and Fixed Width Content Parser. Select Delimited Content Parser from the list. In the Event section, enter the name as Delimited Content Parser and enter a brief description for the event. Select Yes to enable the event source. In the Properties section, under the File Location Settings, specify a value in the Directory field. This is the directory which you can monitor. We shall add more event sources. Click Add Event Source and select File Parser. Enter the event source name as File Parser. Specify the directory which you can monitor for text files. In the Content Type settings, retain the default type as plain text. Similarly, create file parsers for JSON, XML and attachments. All these file parsers point to the directories that you want to monitor. We'll add another event source, File Monitor. Specify the directory which you can monitor. This event source monitors the directory for new files. Save and publish the connection. Click the Metadata tab. There are no actions as we have not defined the event targets yet. Notice the Objects section for the event sources that we defined. The Event Targets tab is used to serialize the process objects and save the objects to the files on the disk. To add an event target, click Add Event Target. The File Writer and Delimited Content Writer options are listed. Select the Delimited Content Writer option. Enter a name and a brief description for the event target. In the Properties section, Specify the directory path to store the files in the file location settings. We'll now add another event target, file writer. 
Enter a name and description for the event target. In the Properties section, specify the directory path to store the files in the File Location settings. Save and publish the connection. The published metadata appears in the Metadata tab. Both the actions are now available to be used in the process. This concludes the demonstration on creating a file connector.